Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we have a quick tutorial for you. Let's say you have some Unity assets, but you do not want to install Unity. How can you use those in say Blender, the Godot game engine or wherever else? Today I'm going to show you how you can extract Unity assets and use them in whatever environment you want. And the examples I'm going to use today are from the Polygon Game Dev Assets by Anim Pick Humble Bundle that's going on right now. I did a video about this on Friday. It is a great selection of models. Now if you go ahead and download this Humble, uh, so when you buy it you get the download page like so i'm going to be showcasing the weapons pack so this guy right here just go ahead and download that guy and then once you've got it what you'll notice is you get two projects here this one right here this zip file uh, this is for uh unreal engine users so you can open that one up and there's an Unreal Engine project. And then at the same time, what you have here is this Unity package one for Unity users. Now, Unity users, you don't want to go through this package, this process, because all you need to do is click down in somewhere in your assets, an empty area, and do an import package, custom package, and then pick that Unity asset. But if you're not working with Unity, you don't have Unity installed, that's what we're going to look at today. So this is the asset package uh, that we're going to be looking at. It's just a huge collection of weapons, uh, and I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and grab them yourself. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need to have a couple of things. Uh, you're going to need to have Python installed, uh, preferably Python 3.6 or higher, and also you're going to want pip installed. Now, I think pip is installed by default with Python, but if it is not, go ahead and install it. All the instructions are here. I will have all of the relevant links down below. So then once you've got those two, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you have them installed and they are find in your path. So if you're on Windows, do Python dash dash version. Now I'm on a Mac in this demo. So what I need to do is Python 3. And I think it's the same thing on Linux. So it's either Python or Python 3, depending on your platform. And as long as you get some kind of return other than command not found or something similar to that, you are good to go. Now you can do the exact same thing with pip. Just pip dash dash version. And as long as you get some result back, you are good to go. Now, another thing you may notice is I've installed mine via homebrew. By the way, you can install Python via homebrew or apt if you're on Linux or whatever. You probably already have Python installed, to be honest, if you have a development machine set up. All right, so those are the two prerequisites for software to follow this. And then next up, you need to have this guy. This is the one doing the heavy lifting. Again, I will have this linked in the linked article down below. Uh, this is the unity package underscore extractor. And there are two commands here you're going to want to run in your command line. Once you confirm that pip is working, grab this guy right here, do a copy of it and go over here and paste. So that's going to run it. Now, what you see on screen is going to be different than what I see on screen because I already have it installed. It should download it and install it auto automatically and make it available for you. And once that has happened, stay, change into the directory. So what you've got, you want to be in the directory uh, with this Unity package right here. And we're going to go back over to Safari or your browser of choice. And what you want to do is run this command right here. So Python or Python 3 dash M unity package underscore extractor. This basically says run the unity package extractor script. So go back on over here and we're going to do Python 3 dash M unity. So I got to add my three in this particular case, unity package extractor, and then just the name of the file. So there we go, the unity package and let this run. Now this is going to take a little bit of time because what it's doing is basically extracting out all of the contents of that unity package. And you can use this for any unity package you find online. So if you want to go ahead and grab the assets from a unity asset that you've downloaded, but you don't have unity installed, this is the way to do it. So this is going to go ahead and extract it down. This takes just a little bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead and let it run. There we go. Oops, sorry about the click. I just hit my desk. So everything was just extracted out. As you can see from this command over here, we go back over to Finder. You will now have this folder called Assets. Inside of it, you will have Polygon Mega Weapon Kit. And then you'll notice here we now have, and you're going to, if you're not using Unity, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and delete. You can delete this one, this one, uh, this one. So really all you care about is models and textures. That's it. So now I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and use. So you can see if you look in models, this is composed as a huge collection of FBX files. All of the things in uh, this particular um, project, all of the stuff here uh, is available as FBX files. And those can be used. They work in uh, the Godot game engine as tested. But what I'm going to show you now is Blender. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to import into Blender. Why Blender? Well, because I haven't sacrificed any cubes today. So goodbye, cube. All right. So what you're going to do, file, import, and then obviously it's FBX, and then just locate the, the directory you just extracted things to. So downloads, uh, that's poly mega weapons kit assets. And then 
models. Pick the weapon that you want. Uh, so I'm just going to pick one pretty much, I don't know, semi-randomly. So you notice there's a lot of components here that you can kind of work together with. So let's grab a, uh, I don't know, just, just pick one, Mike. Just pick one. That's a downside of having too many choices. So I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, assault rifle, 554, 545. All right. So one thing you'll notice is if they come in small, in my case, they, they're reasonably sized. But if you want to change the size of the things on import, uh, you can do it right here with this little gear. And you can do an automatic scaling if you need to transform the size when you're using it. But I think the defaults work fine. The weird thing is it's just not at the origin. And I'm not sure why, but all of the assets in this pack aren't at the origin. So go ahead and import it. And you notice our asset is over here. To fix that, pretty simple. Just select that asset, hit N to bring up the tools, and then just move it to 000. And there we go. So let's do a shift escape and fly in and take a look at our gun. So there is our gun. Now, one thing you're going to notice though, so this looks like an AK. Uh, and again, there are components there for different clips. So this is a modular kit, by the way. So here we've got our basic gun. Let's go ahead and take a look at the EV view of it rendered and ooh, it's fuchsia. That means the texture is missing. The good news here is the materials were actually defined quite fine. So you come in here, go to um, shader editor in this case. You can see there is a shader set up for it and the shader is actually here, it's just not located. So all you gotta do is grab this guy and then find um, the textures, pick the texture, open it up, and you are done. So I'm gonna go back over here. There is a textured object. If I go to the other side of it, you'll see the lighting is a little bit better from this side. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use these assets. The same deal goes in if you import it into the Godot game engine. Uh, you just have to apply the material. The nice thing there is they all use the exact same material. This is a single texture for all of these low polygon objects in this case. So you just have to create the material once and copy it over to each object. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how easy it is to use Unity assets without uh, having to have Unity installed. Again, this Humble Bundle is uh, the example I used in this case. The links are down below if you want to go ahead and pick this one up. It's pretty good value. And as you saw, uh, it works best in Unity and in Unreal Engine because you're getting project files set up, prefabs and all that stuff. So you don't have to create the materials. They've got pre-assembled guns, so you don't have to apply clips, etc. Uh, but all of the raw assets, the all of the textures, all of the models are available and can work in any implant or any uh, platform you wish. Just be aware you're going to need Python, pip, and then you're going to, the, the heavy lifting for this example is done by the Unity package underscore extractor. So whenever you come across a Unity package, this is how you can use it. Uh, and you'll find anything that you've actually downloaded from the Unity asset store is saved as a Unity package somewhere in your app data uh, location. So um, you don't need to have Unity installed to extract these things out. Uh, so this makes it so you can use Unity assets without uh, needing Unity installed at all. So if you are, say, a good Doe developer and you're interested in picking up this Humble or any others that are shipped as Unity package, or if you download a Unity package off the internet, you can do it entirely using this script. So hopefully you found that useful. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.